Hello and welcome to Alexpo and today we're talking about Derby County. Everything is going wrong for the Rams who have ended administration and been docked 12 points amid their financial ruin. The immediate future of the club is looking bleak after gambling over the years financially to get to the Premier League. That didn't happen and now they're in a right old mess that threatens their existence completely. So today I'm going to try and fix things, because why not eh, someone's got to. I'm giving Derby a load of cash so they can balance the books and finally achieve promotion to the Premier League. Hopefully they'll make a splash when they get there too. So let's do it, let's see if we can fix Derby County. So here we are in the edit, you can see I've boosted the balance massively, transfer budget, they've got a big one now, and they've got loads of money to spend on wages, they've got a foreground sugar daddy who'll be pumping money into the club, and in terms of sponsors, I've boosted them as well, so a lot of money coming into Derby County. You can see now they are a rich club, still managed by Wayne Rooney. At the start of the season, there'll be no points deduction. They've got nothing nothing to worry about in that front. First season probably won't prove anything. I can't imagine they'll spend much. Maybe in the second season, we'll start to see some results. By then, they should be able to pump this money into the club, get some big players in, improve a few facilities and whatnot, and climb from the Championship to the Premier League. But let's simulate a year in the future. Let's see how they get on. Right, here we are at the end of the first season, and the new riches of Derby County have done nothing. If anything, they were closer to going down. They came 18th with 56 points, 13 clear of the relegation zone, Barnsley there in 22nd with 43 points. Actually, they were just about as close as the relegation zone as they were the playoffs. So they put another 13 points on the board that had 69, which would have put them in playoff contention alongside Luton, Sheffield United and QPR. But instead they have came 18, they are still rich, they are still managed by Wayne Rooney, let's assume they've spent no real money. 5.75 million pounds, Omar Rekic on loan, Jiril Fanjit Touré on loan. In fact that money they've spent is just money they've already spent in reality, the 3.7 million pounds on Kamil Josiak. Sorry, I've spelt, said that name completely wrong, but it's early in the morning, okay? But they have survived this season, so that, that's fine. Financially, they're still rich. We've still got Wayne Rooney calling the shots, which is... It is what it is. In the next season, I think things should start to improve. We should see that money being spent, hopefully being spent in the right places. And maybe they can at least challenge for promotion. Did they at least win the derbies in this season? Nottingham Forest, they were beaten at home 1-0. And in the away fixture, they drew 0-0. So, a pretty disappointing season for Derby. Although they did start things quite well, they got off to a pretty strong start. But eventually things fizzled out and they have came 18th in the championship. That's fine, because this summer they'll have money to spend, I, I hope. Let's simulate another year in the future, let's see if Derby spend some cash, their newfound riches, and finally get out of the championship. It's got to be better than getting docked points, hasn't it? Right, here we are at the end of the second season of this simulation as we try and fix Derby County and things have at least improved, but, but not massively. This time they've came 11th with 64 points, nowhere near relegation, but they, haven't, they were still 10 or so points away from the playoff sides. So yet again, it's, it's another mid-table season for Derby County. It is better than the season before, but still not. You know, this isn't what I was hoping for, but it's early days. They have finished above Nottingham Forest, which the fans will have loved. But perhaps we're going to see a change financially because Mel Morris has sold the club and they've been taken over by a consortium run by Mike Connor. In Mel Morris's final summer in charge, he did spend some money. There was £14.5 million spent on some fairly big-ish names coming into the club. Well, big in relative terms. Joe Allen, you know, been to the Euros. Tom Cleverley, former Man United midfielder. Jack Watmore, got that incredible head of hair, well he used to, I don't know if he still does. Peña Randa from Watford, formerly a great wonder kid on FIFA I think, whether he was as good on football manager I can't remember. Gary Cahill, former England centre back, Danny Rose, former England left back. Jed Wallace is a decent player, Adam Ida, a hot young striker coming from Norwich, not hot in that sense, I'm not that way inclined. Martin Kelly, one of the most normal looking men in the world coming in on a free. Some big names coming to Derby County, but some big names who have failed to deliver promotion. But they have got what they needed. They have gotten themselves new owners. Mel Morris has finally left the club. They're still rich. 
you can see here they are still rich. So maybe this new owner is going to splash the cash and deliver greatness back to Derby County. Things could only get better, surely. Surely they can't get worse. We can't have another demise of Derby County. Things are bad enough in the real world, that alone in football manager. But let's go into year three. Let's see what this new owner brings to Pride Park. Right, here we are at the end of year three, and after one year with new owners, Derby County are on their way to the Premier League. They have came sixth, they have crept into the playoffs with 82 points, and they have won it on penalties. They beat Brentford in the semi-finals, the team who came third, who narrowly missed out on automatic promotion, beat them in the semis, and then a win on penalties in the final at Wembley Stadium against QPR. Wayne Rooney has guided Derby to the promised land. Gary Cahill, now the vice captain. Let's what a start this is for the new owner. And my oh my, has he spent some money. Since the change of ownership, £87 million has been spent to get Derby County out of the championship. And my oh my, has it worked an absolute treat. Let's see who they've signed. £23 million, potentially rising to £28.5 million on Fabio Carvalho, they spent big on Jack Clark, they spent big on Kevin Rodriguez, they also spent big on Christian Norgard. Four players arriving for more than £10 million. Kieran Dowell, decent centre midfielder, he's came in. Josh Sims arriving from Bournemouth, not that impressive. Lewis O'Brien from Huddersfield, a tidy little player. They've got some experience in Nathaniel Klein, two good goalkeeping options in Vito Minoni and Alex McCarthy. And a football manager legend in Eugene Canopley Anchor. Some good young players signed as well for Kundo Palistri on loan, Marlos Marino on loan, and Norwich's striker, the American Josh Sargent. It's all changed at Derby County. They've got rid of Tom Lawrence, they've got rid of Josiak. Even some of the players signed last season, they've got rid of Tom Cleverley, Joe Allen, Jack Robinson. It's all changed at Pride Park. Who's been the star in this team? It's been two of their new signings, Alex McCarthy the goalkeeper and Jack Clark on the left wing. Kieran Dow's done well, so's Josh Sargent. As is Fabio Carvalho. It looks like all of their big signings didn't actually arrive until January, so the spending was a little bit delayed in some respect. But it doesn't matter because it's delivered promotion for the Rams. Let's check their schedule out. Things got off to a great start. A lot, a lot of wins. They've just been brilliant. A couple of rocky patches. Let's have a look at the table, see how they've been throughout the season. Past positions, Derby County. Ever since the first few weeks, they've always been in contention for the playoffs. They were even in contention to go up automatically. They were second for a good few weeks. Eventually tailed off. But since match week 33, where well, they dropped into sixth place, they stayed there. The one week they got up to fifth, but they've been consistently in the playoffs. I mean, the last time they were outside the playoffs was after the fifth game when they beat Reading 2-1. After that, they've always been in the top six, always been in contention to go up, and that is exactly what Wayne Rooney and Derby County have done. So there you have it, Derby fans. A change of ownership, some money spent, and you're going straight up to the Premier League. But how will you get on in the top flight? Surely, this, I mean, if they're spending that kind of money in the championship, there's got to be money to spend in the Premier League. They're still a rich club. Is it going to be enough, though, to survive in the Premier League? Let's go another year into the future. Derby County are a Premier League club once again. For the first time since 2008, when they went straight back down to the championship, this time they might be able to put up a better fist, maybe spend a bit of cash, bring some decent players in, and hopefully survive in the Premier League, then kick on. Let's simulate a year into the future. Let's see if that happens. Right, here we are another year into the future and Derby County's return of the Premier League hasn't gone well at all. The bad news is they've came rock bottom with 23 points and have barely even came close to survival. The good news is they didn't do as worse as the last time they were in the Premier League, so you know, baby steps. But the main thing is they're going straight back down to the Championships. So that was a, a brief flirtation with, with greatness, but it, it hasn't really delivered. Did they spend big to try and stay in the Premier League? They certainly did. They spent big at the back end of last season. They brought in Joe Bryan and Nathan Wood. So nearly 20 million quid spent there. And then when we're going to the next season, they've spent a fair bit of money as well. But it doesn't really look like they've spent it very well. 
22.5 million pounds rising to 33.5 million for Sam May, a 19-year-old striker coming from the Middlesbrough Academy. I mean, yeah, he's going to be one for the future, clearly. Three goals and 11 Premier League appearances. But maybe he's not the big signing Derby needed to survive. Joe Williams from Bristol City, big money spent on him. It just doesn't look like they've spent their money well here. I mean, it might be better in the future with some young players coming in. But for the immediate future of Derby County, all it's done is sent them straight back down to the championship. £77 million spent. And all they've got to show for it is 23 points. It was an awful, awful start of the season. They lost in the opening day to Leicester. Then they won against Burnley. Fabio Carvalho and Jack Clark with the goals. Then after that, what an awful run in the Premier League. They lost 12 Premier League games on the bounce. The next time they won a Premier League game, even just picked up a Premier League point, was a 2-1 win over Tottenham Hotspur on the 6th of December. A big, big win. But then even after that, more disappointment. Four games without a win until they beat Burnley again. Then they had a three-game run where they won. They beat Leicester 2-0 at home. They beat Man United 2-1 at home. Some big, big wins. But so many patches without picking up anything of note. In total, they won six Premier League games all season. Wayne Rooney in his first flurry of management into the Premier League has seen them finish 20th in the table. This is a man who's won Premier Leagues in the past, one of the top scorers in the history of the division, coming rock bottom with Derby County. But considering they're currently rock bottom of the Championship, I suppose they can't really complain that much. Only Fabio Carvalho and Sam May really impressing in the Premier League. But they have made some decent signings in the sense of young players who can kick on in years to come. So maybe that's what the thinking's going to be. This is a long-term project, not a, you know... They weren't going to spend big on big Premier League has been, so to speak, who might have achieved survival and might not have. So maybe I suppose they've, they've done right in a way. But either way, they've came rock bottom. They didn't even come close to surviving. But I'm going to give them one more year of this simulation. We'll be back in the championship in year five. Can they bounce straight back up? Let's simulate another year in the future. Let's find out. Right, here we are for the fifth and final time in Derby County back in the championship. They have finished sixth yet again. They've gone into the playoffs, but they were beaten in the semi-finals by Sunderland, who went up in third place. Derby County coming sixth with 75 points. They had a late surge to get into the playoffs. They did start all right. They were doing really well, actually. Then they just dropped like a stone. Dropped as low as 13th. Reclimbed the division, tailed off again, and then by match 43, they got into sixth and they didn't budge. Draws against Luton and Charlton were enough to secure sixth position, but in the playoffs, they fell short. There's actually been a change of manager. They're now managed by Carlos Vicens. Wayne Rooney lost his job on the 7th of December 2024. He was sacked after four years in charge. He's still looking for a new gig, but that's that's all right. He's got a promotion on his CV now, at least. But under Carlos Vissens, he came in, he steadied the ship, but couldn't deliver promotion. Back in the championship, the spending somewhat subsided. They did spend 10 million quid on Matt Biazga from Brighton, the American centre-back. Then they spent 25 million. Jack Walton, the 27-year-old goalkeeper, quite a, an expensive addition in between the sticks. They've also brought in Jay De Silva at left back and Lucas Romero from West Brom. A man football manager fans will know well but at Derby County he's done just okay. One assist, one player of the match award, average rating less than a seven. The star player Max Bird, I mean yes John Swift's ahead of them but he's only played 10 games. Max Bird, 43 appearances, 3 goals and 17 assists, pretty good. Sam May proving his worth in the championship, 17 goals. For the region, Matt Miazga did all right. So did Louis Silby, Sibley, sorry, and Fabio Carvalho, impressive as well. But it wasn't enough to achieve promotion straight back to the top flight. But at least things have been better for Derby County. They're a, they're a rich club, no longer in financial turmoil, no longer a threat of or danger of disappearing out of existence. They've been at the Premier League, yes it didn't go very well, but they at least got there and straight back in the Championship, they are challenging once again. I've tried to fix Derby County, 
I'd say it's worked. It hasn't worked as well as I thought. I thought as soon as we got into the Premier League, we might have kicked on, and I thought we would have got there sooner. But with a new owner, things have improved for Derby County, and the future is somewhat bright. Hopefully that can happen for the Rams. In reality, they're a great club. What they're going through is absolutely appalling. To be an administration, rock bottom of the Premier League, docked points, things could get worse, which is a terrifying thought. Hopefully things sort themselves out for Derby. But in football manager world, I've tried to fix them. It's gone okay. Not gone perfectly, but it's gone okay. We at least got to the Premier League and it ended in tears. But not as many tears as it ended the last time in the Premier League. We will leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Alexpo. And until next time, we will see you around.